Hey guys, what's up? Squid Squad here. <clears throat> Quick in your tutorial. Um, thought I'd show you guys uh, some new swipe controls I had that were actually really working well. Um, it's kind of a common thing for uh, mobile phones to do for a game. I was actually just putting this in my new game and uh, noticed that like some of the things people use maybe maybe I mean they're they're all right they work all right but uh, switch case is definitely the way to do it I think and um, actually I, I I'm I made this a lot more efficient so I don't know I, th I think it runs better than than anything anybody else has I mean I haven't seen it all obviously but uh, I mean yeah this works pretty well so uh, I'll go through it uh, put it in the uh, description down there so you guys can uh, use it and show you how it works so we got a couple variables here um, oh yeah I also didn't men mention it's uh, left right swipe and then also up and down so if you need all four uh, this is gonna this is gonna do it here for you um, so yeah uh, when the so if touch counts greater than uh, zero it starts and then we have this first case when uh, the touch begins it gets your start touch position and then um, when it ends it will uh, check your, uh, your your vertical swipe distance and if that's greater than the minimum uh, swipe distance up here it will uh, it will tell you if um, it will tell you if it's uh, an up or down um, uh, based on the value so yeah um, so that that's for up and down right and then for horizontal we have this here and uh, it'll take your swipe uh, your horizontal swipe distance and then if that's greater than the minimum it'll do the same thing here and then um, uh, if it's if it's greater than zero it'll it'll move it'll tell <clears throat> it'll sense that it's a right swipe and then if it's less than it will sense it's a, a left swipe and uh, yeah it works just like that and then you can call whatever functions you have going on or anything so yeah a um, couple more things you have to do I just do it on the main camera here uh, I, I made these public variables so you can just set them up here in the editor but uh, th 300 might be a little big for, for some um, especially if you're like if you're going portrait <coughs> And you're on an old phone, and it's only 300 across, you know, or 320 or whatever it might be. Um, yeah, that might be a little small, but um, uh, if you if you really want to get crazy, you could go like screen dot width divided by five or whatever. So you just want to have a fifth of the swipe. But then if you're on a 1080 phone and you have to swipe, you know, a fit or a, um, in, uh, a big old display, a seven inch display, a tablet, you'd have to swipe like a fifth of that, and that's that's too big. So, I mean. That there's really no good answer. I mean, you could go set it up for every phone and test on everything, and, and just see what feels good. If I mean, if you're really trying to get perfect uh, swipe controls, but yeah, I guess I'll uh, I'll show you a, a glimpse of it on the phone here. All right, so I uh, I built it to my phone here, and uh, just to show you guys that it works, I'll start with a a right, a right swipe or left, whatever, um, and then here's a right one, and then an up and a down and a down <laughs> alright so uh, yeah th there it is um, hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys uh, use it in your games and it, and it works well um, that's about it for me though uh, like subscribe like always and uh, I'll see you guys in the next uh, video happy developing bye